Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about people who are copycats. They steal your ideas, they try to steal your thunder. And I'm going to go on from there. But first, I want to mention just part in the background. Um, it's really cold outside, below freezing. This is Texas. And I'm not used to that. So I'm going to do it this way. And um, the, the backgrounds are just ones that I had uh, made and thought were cute, and I want to use them up. So I'm going to talk about. Um, the copycats. Okay, now I have done videos about copycats on and off for say five years or so. I started my original channel, YouTube channel, five and a half, around five and a half years ago, and right off the bat I noticed somebody was copycatting me. But this kind of thing has happened to me in person um, in really strange ways, like somebody stealing my ideas, but also trying to steal things about me, you know, my, not my uh, financial identity, but my personal identity. And so it's a, it's a topic that I really feel uh, compelled to continue, especially now, uh, making videos about. So now I did video, videos, several of them, several of them. And one of them was about um, when, say, you do a DIY and uh, you know do it yourself and you post a picture online or you're done say you're you know into crafts and you sell them and people steal your ideas it's often that what i have seen is it would be people who are more popular and they steal the ideas of those who are less popular and they um so everybody thinks it's their idea and that's, and that's how they keep going that's how they get more and more popular because they've see what other people are doing and state that you know see it steal it and make it their own they don't they don't give the other person any credit for it at all you know they just put it out as their own and you know some people will see your idea first but they have so many that watch you know see theirs that you know somebody and theirs might come and say you're stealing theirs <laughs> you see you, you the person who's doing had the original thought is stealing that of the other one? No. Okay. Luckily, usually other people see that. Okay. Now, since we're online, I'm going to use an example of being online. Um, and now this can be in you, maybe you write something, a blog, or you do groups and you write, um, you know, something about your life. It could be uh, making a video, which is, has been for me. Um, and somebody else, like I said, you know, usually somebody more popular takes your idea, makes it their own, don't, they don't give you credit for it, and others wonder if you are the one who's doing it. Now, we have to think about this, that's, you know, especially people around your own age, it doesn't have to be, that people have similar ideas, okay? You know, that just happens, like I said, especially around your age, because you're going through the same stages, and you've realized the same things, um, some of them, and it's not 100% across the board. And so you might have that same idea, but there's a difference when it's something like that and when it happens every time. And that's what started off with me, and it's continued with different people, usually about average once a year, a new person, and they um, continue on. And... Um, so it's been about five and a half years for me so yeah making videos but that, that's something that they will do is they will find one person who has so good ideas for whatever subject whatever genre and they take that and make it their own but like I said so so it's repeat like within the next say 48 hours they're doing the same thing you did or however it works for whatever it is that you do that would show that they keep doing it over and over it's not just oh we had the same idea, nothing like that. Okay, now also it can be online. They steal your idea that you came up with a DIY or something like that, but it can also be you know, that they steal your topics. Okay, and that's, that's mainly what, I've, what has happened to me is steal my topics. You know, I come up with something that I had just recently had an experience with, and the next thing I know, you know, somebody else is coming up with that same topic as though they had that same experience or they had that same thought. You know, like you, you 
especially around this age, you look back and you say, oh, I, you know, I, I learned this about this topic or this and part of life. And they will take that and get, say it, state it as their own, especially around your age, like I said, your own age, and make it their own. Like they've come to this great conclusion when you were the one who did it. You were the one who did the work in any way, shape, form, or fashion this is. You're the one who did that. But they're going to make it their own. Okay, now as I said, I've had more than one. I've had several, even not online before then, who has done this. And there is one who's uh, recent, you know, currently doing it. And it has been for I don't know how long. And um, the thing about that one is, I, you know, at first I thought this person's just keep stealing my ideas. But, like I said, it was online and this was on YouTube. And I started watching different people. And I realized that this person was doing that to several people. And I mentioned this recently to many people. And that, that person seems to be a bit, um, you know, have some behaviors that some fall under um, histrionic. I've noticed more people fall under the uh, what I call a narcissistic histrionic blend of behaviors. That's not a diagnosis. I'm not diagnosing anybody at all. But they, they really want that attention to be drawn to them. They have to have the attention. They don't care if it's somebody, they steal somebody's idea and somebody comes in and says, hey, you stole that person's idea. They don't care. That kind of spurs them on even. No, they get a really kick out of just simply getting that attention you know and the, the way they see it hey they're going to be people who come in and want to watch so you know that that's good that's attention even if it's negative like I said okay so they may be doing it to several others and you might find that out and um, you know like I was saying that they that it draws attention to their own channel and they feel like some people will be on their side and um, like on YouTube to, to grow their channel um, get more subscribers even if it's people who are just there to, to hate on them to them that's that's extra people that's more ad money if they're you know have theirs monetized so you know it's, it's the way to draw people in and they don't care how that hurts or harms or makes the the pe person or people they stole from feel they don't care and they feel like everything's up there for them if you put something out, then therefore it's for anybody to take. And that's their view on it. They say you really do not see it as wrong in any way, shape, form, or fashion. They do not see that it could be wrong at all. Okay, now some people, I, I, st I just recently saw this again like a couple of days ago, was somebody saying that they don't have any problem stealing somebody else's ideas. And that's because to that in the excuse they gave, or if you can call it an excuse, is that it's a, the a best form of flattery for that person. No, it's stealing. That is theft. Plain and simple. <laughs> no, no excuse. No excuse for it to excuse it off so you don't have to feel any, you know, guilt, shame, anything, any bad, anything negative. You're stealing. Plain and simple. If you saw me, I've used this example before. If you saw my sofa and you liked it, you came and stole it, that's theft. Okay? Just because I like that color and you decided you wanted it, you can take it? No. But people do. <laughs> really. And as if everything, like I said, everything out there is for them to steal, for them to take. Okay, I said that I've just found some of these background pictures cute. Like this one, jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> but in a way, I like the colors. Now, this could be an example. Actually, when I just started to do this, I thought about this. This could be an example of somebody, you know, maybe they do. I've never seen anybody do their videos like I'm doing mine. But um, never in five and a half years. Now, I could see somebody taking something like this. I'm doing a mixture of them. Some of them funny, some of them to the topic. I could see somebody doing that themselves and, and saying it's their own idea. You know, seeing mine, taking it, saying, hey, that's kind of cute. Whether you like it or not, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's kind of cute. And then they, they put it out there and make their own like that and say it's their own idea. And like I said, they do not give credit to the person that they, you know, took it from. They don't give them a shout out. They don't say anything about it. They don't even say that they saw somebody else do it. Nothing. 
It's they put it out there as if it's their own. And they can go to such extremes with that. Okay, I mean, somebody can act, like I said, some people can actually see it. They don't care. I keep saying that. They do not care. Okay, now to go back a little bit. I, um, when this happened to me over, you know, say around five years ago or so the, for the first time, I uh, stopped watching that person. And since then, like, the per you know, the people who are doing it and I see it, I'll watch them for a while and every blue moon I'll go back and see if they're still doing it. Some of them are. But really, I had also stopped watching videos on the same topic that I do. Okay, if somebody else does it, I just stopped. I, uh, I don't want to see it anymore, you know, and I know that's just kind of turning a blind eye to it and saying, oh well. But as we all know, people can be dangerous. <laughs> and plus, YouTube has just recently changed something. And in the past, I knew that I could use that if I needed to back, you know, um, back up for proof that they're stealing my ideas and not the other way around. Uh, and that was a way you could print uh, when you uploaded the video. Okay, not just when it was published, but when you printed it. And published is okay, but I'm not printed it, but published it. Uploaded it. I'll get that right. When you uploaded it, it will say the date. They're changing things, and that soon might go away. I don't know if there's another way to do it, but that would be proof. Okay. Now, many of these people have what some call flying monkeys, and um, that even if with proof, they're going to come and attack you. You know, like in the Wizard of Oz, they're going to attack you because they see that person who's doing it as the best in the world, and they'll say, "Well, they're better at it, at, at it than you are anyway." It's still theft, okay? It still says something negative about them. What they are doing is wrong. Okay, so really, like I said, I stopped watching people overall. I'll watch them every once in a while, some of them, but no. I, I don't even want to see if anybody, I, I just don't want to see it anymore. And like I said, you know, people can be dangerous, and if you go attack them, not attack them, but it's you, you don't, it's not you attacking them when you say, hey, you're stealing my stuff. Uh, they, they'll try everything to get at you. So, yeah. And that's that's where I was going with this also, is that they will try to turn it around on you. Even if you don't say anything to them, but you notice it, or say you had been watching them for a while, and you start seeing it, and you stop watching it because you noticed that what they were doing was stealing your ideas, you know, when, once that happens, they start trying to, to set up a scene, you know, where... They're not saying your name, but they're setting up that th they, they might do a video like this and state, you know, this is what, you know, has happened to them when no, it is actually, they are doing it to others. We all know the, how that works, don't we? <laughs> yeah. They're going to set the scene, they're going to play the victim, you know, or just set it up that they are being victimized by somebody stealing their ideas when they're stealing other people's ideas. Okay. Okay, now I am serious that I wonder how many... People will suddenly start using jellyfish for something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, to, now to move on a little bit on something that has happened to me other than what I've mentioned before. Okay, I, I'm going to go on, on that. It, it's kind of like you can get a dictionary, pick a word, and really study that word, know that word. And it's not some word that people usually use. I'm not talking about making up your own word, but that can, that can happen too. But, and start using that word. The next thing you know, that, that kind of person. You know, other people might use the word every once in a while. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody who's using it, acting as though it's their own idea to come up with this word. They might even say that they looked it up in the dictionary, in which they probably did. But they are saying that they're the one who did it first. Okay, that's, that's kind of like a little easy example, I think. Okay, by the way, that other clip, <laughs> and since then I'm probably a little out of breath, I stopped and played a, a catch with my puppy. It loves to play catch. Of course, it's a puppy. But anyway, it's not, I know it's not the only puppy out there that's ever done that. Now, to move on. Okay, I, I've had this experience, like I said, for the past, um, online for the past, I don't know how many years, really, actually. I've been online since 1990. And even before ever being online, like I said, I've had it happen in person. But recently, I had something that's kind of fairly new to me. But this one really stuck out. 
And it was one such person who has ta stolen my ideas over, I don't know how long, online, uh, made videos, and their channel became popular. Okay, this person's channel became popular, and I basically um, would make videos stating that somebody is stealing my ideas, you know, and people can search the titles and stuff and see that this other person is doing the same thing and all that didn't care, didn't mind, didn't, what wasn't happening. Well, I kind of changed on that channel, on that particular channel. I changed up what I was doing, and I continued to ch change up what I was doing. And um, this person who, whose channel became popular actually did a video that sounded very threatening. I mean, threatening, I don't know what way it would be threatening at all, but it was kind of like, you know how people want to give you the, the feeling, they're not going to do anything, it's not like they're going to come after you or whatever, but that they might start um, a smear campaign on you. And it was very pointed toward me because basically, like I said, I changed my whole way of doing videos, my whole, not way, but the whole, really the whole focus for months now. Okay, so you get it. Basically, I wasn't coming up with any um, new ideas for them to steal. They're not paying me. That person's not paying me. That person's not giving me any credit. My, that channel of mine's not growing any because I'm making these ideas that they're stealing, <laughs> you know, so. But it was, it was angry because I wasn't doing the, you know, coming up with new ideas in some topic that would show, wouldn't show that they're stealing mine because they've done pop topics on similar to that in the past. Not really that similar, seriously. Like I said, I've been doing those for I was doing that, that type for five years, and this other person came around about two years ago and took those ideas that I had already, that I was had done and that I was doing at that time. Now that I'm not doing that, that person's angry and making that kind of video. Okay. And like I said, you know, don't pay much attention to the background. I'm just using up these things. But um, now another one. Okay, that one was freaky enough, seriously, to me. That was pretty freaky for someone who is stealing my ideas to make a video, not naming me, not naming me anyway, but I would know it. You know how they do that? You know it. And it's a, yeah, that they're like, might set up a smear campaign. Well, this person already had started that when they started stealing my ideas. Okay, they said, we're doing the, just what I mentioned a while ago, setting it up to where they can go back and say, well, look at this, what I said early on. You see, so they could do that. Okay, now I had made another video. I uh, put it, I, pop, I made it, um, I uploaded it yesterday, I think. And today is the 6th of February. I uploaded it, but I haven't made it public yet. So I don't know if I'll make that one public before this one or not. And in that one, I was, boy, was I ranting about this type. I've, I've been ranting on and off about this particular type, like I said, the his narcissistic histrionic blend. I've been making videos. What in the world was that noise? Let me check that out real quick here. Okay, as I say, real life happens in the middle of a video. You hear the puppy. Um, the puppy had gotten into one of the rooms. It's a half bath and had knocked something over. And uh, that's what that sound was. Now, yeah, it's a puppy I nicknamed Mayhem, but not for that commercial. I saw that commercial after that. I'd seen ones about cats and other stuff before then, but no, Mayhem came to my mind because that's what he creates, <laughs> this puppy. I've had him two months and almost a week, okay? And whoo, you hear him? Yeah, I have a bell on his, uh, I've had it on his collar since I think day one had a bell at least you know he, he bit the first two off this one he hasn't been able to since then but the bell is so I know where he is usually most of the time unless he's sitting still and that way I know he's not going to be under my feet or so I won't fall down hopefully not but anyway that's a real that's a real life happens in the middle of video thing okay now to finally get to that part about um, the video that I don't know if I'll put up first or not but basically I'm, I'm mentioning this that you, you know pointing it out to them or something like that uh, what they're doing 
it just spurs them on to do it to continue doing it because inside of them and now it's not a one size fits all but what I've seen inside of them that is their way to prove that they can do whatever they want like you know sport brats okay and th that might even uh, to them being called a sport brat actually might make them feel good too <laughs> they have not grown up okay that like people used to always say grow up Okay, the world's not all about you, but no to them, the world is about them, and everything is up for them, to, for grabs for them. And like I said, it spurs them on to prove their, their like domination and or that they can and will continue to do what they're doing. And you don't have any rights to them to stop them, to say no. You know, now, how well would they go on in a job or you know, people who, <laughs> puppies going nuts with his, one of his many, many babies, but yeah, you know, the, the, to them, how would they, how would they work in a job? Seriously, can you imagine working with somebody like this? Yes, I can. I know I can, but think about it. You know, especially if they have intellectual property laws or patents or whatever, and this is the type that just says, "Huh, I can do what I want to. I can still take. It. I just switch it up a little bit, and you know, and that's all I need. All I need to do, but." Anyway, I think I'm about to run out here on space, and I don't want to add a whole total no, new uh, background. So, But anyway, if you have any comments about this, if you've experienced that and you feel comfortable, go ahead and leave one below. But like I said, you know, some people, it's just that you're the, around the same age, or you've had the same experience, you like the same thing, you read the same books, you watch the same TV shows, whatever it is. And yeah, every once in a while, you're going to run across the fact that you know you have similar things in common some things in common but not whenever it's somebody who does it every day one day after the other that would be a very very rare coincidence in my book for every day they had that same thought within the next uh, 48 hours or so or maybe it might even be longer like I said it depends on what you what you're doing and what the time would actually be to do that. You know, if it's a DIY, it takes longer. If it's just a thought, not just a thought, it is a thought. It could be within however long it takes them to do it, you know, right after that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Bye.